here with Scrap and Abby, and I have a collective haul to share with all of you today. These are, are items that I purchased from some local shops in downtown Deland, and some, uh, some are antique shops, and some are some really cool kind of a global marketplace shop that I went to. So I'm going to go ahead and just get started. Let me start pulling some things off the top so I actually have some room to move items around. Oh. Pardon me, I just wanted to shut my craft room door. My husband and daughter are in the kitchen eating dinner, so I wanted to film this real quick, and I'm going to go ahead and have some dinner myself. So, kind of take these things off the area here. We'll start with this one. So, these two here. Um, I'm not going to say the store names because it's not really going to matter because it's stuff that's local to me. But anyway, so I went to a really really cool thrift shop. It had more more like a um, you know it's like a, a huge building that had through um, three levels in. I'll throw some pictures in here as I'm talking about it and either here or at the end and um, it had like a d bunch of different vendor booths so it was like little vendor spots some were shabby chic some were more vintage some had you know like males normal you know like male stuff like well not not just guys like this kind of stuff I shouldn't say that but like you know automotive race cars that kind of stuff there's just some really really cool booths in there lots of lace and um, trims and had this huge selection probably the biggest selection I've ever seen of vintage clothing it was so much fun the girls were trying on um, different outfits we did this when my da daughter's best friend Liddy was here probably over three weeks ago now I'm just now getting around to this <laughs> I can't believe I've waited so long and um, it was just a lot a lot of fun so I walked around where the girls were playing and trying on just different clothes and stuff and you know so this is these are a few things I bought for myself and so this is this beautiful beautiful doily isn't that just gorgeous with the purple and that's the back side this is going to get framed I don't cut these kinds of things up like the purple doilies and purple whatever because that's my color and I like to display this kind of stuff in my craft room so I will definitely share a photo or um, to show you how I'm using this in my craft room for decor. And I'm definitely going to keep the paper because I can reuse that for sure in some projects and stuff. So these are some wooden clothespins and I didn't pay that price. That's just, they were $5. But um, I love these because my um, laundry room, I have like a real true vintage, wooden vintage, um, I almost said sewing board, um, ironing board. I have like a couple little irons that are super heavy heavy that are old too and I have this really cool flower sack um, vintage flower sack thing I found and I clip some of these on there so some of these are going to go in my in my laundry room for just decor and then I'm going to use these in my craft room with a light um, like string around like you know some um, thin you know lace trim or string or something like that because I like to display my crafty supplies on um, vintage items like this just I don't know just something I really enjoy and then this is beautiful oh my goodness this is beautiful I have this laying down next to me while my daughter, I was taking pictures of my daughter and her friend, and this one lady, um, I think she thought it was like for sale still or whatever, and I was like, oh no, that's mine, and she was like, oh, she goes, okay, and she goes, but I love it, it's so pretty, I'm like, well, yeah, me too, that's why I'm, I'm buying it, I'm sorry. I had, I had it sitting right next to me, it wasn't, it wasn't like I left it, you know, across the room or anything. It wasn't a big deal, she was very nice, very nice lady. But um, if I didn't love it so much, I would have let her have it. But, you know, I found it when we first walked in the door, and I just, like, fell in love with it. So it's like a curtain panel, I think the lady told me, because that right here is where the rod would go. They only had one panel, though, and this is so beautiful. I don't know if... Let me move this out of the way for a second. I don't know if my camera is going to pick up how beautiful this really, really is. It's this nice kind of, like, almost like an avocado type of a green with these beautiful dusty pink and shabby pink um, um, embroidered flowers and this really delicate stitching right there to make up the vines. It's just a really gorgeous material. So, so beautiful. And I wish I could have found another panel. Um, or, if, or if I would have had two panels, I would have gave one to the other lady who was looking for it too. So, um, just beautiful. I love it, love it, love it. <clears throat> Pardon my scratchy voice. So that is it for, oh no, that's not true. I got one more thing from that store. A couple more things. So they had um, this huge, this one vendor ha had a huge display of different kinds of stamps. And I chose these two because um, they had purple in them. <laughs> I know, shocking, right? So there was a bunch more. So I'll probably go back there because I think that's a pretty good price, two bucks for all those stamps. Um, I never find this inexpensive on Etsy or anything that I'm looking. So got that. This is from a vintage bookshop I went in. It's really, really cool. And I'm going to be going back in there again um, um, 
probably on my own because um, I really enjoy being in there looking at old books and stuff, probably more than my husband and daughter does. So my husband and I, like, we, we, we like to go out, like, you know, junking and thrifting and antique and estate sales, things like that. But I really can get lost in bookstores. I just love them. Love them, love them. So this is a book I bought. It was only $5. I couldn't believe it was only 5 bucks. Um, really good prices, um, the books in there. And you can see, you know, some on the the plastic dust cover you can see there's print from other things on it I don't care about that I like to buy them just I like the way they look and the character and this is a botanical book um, oops get that bag out of the way there it says this book is from the horde of EJ Coaster Coster read thoughtfully handle carefully return promptly <laughs> that's pretty cute I like that so that's a nice bit of ephemera in there that sticker so when you first open it up, it's got this beautiful color page of these different birds. This lists all of the birds, different birds that are in there. And I'll just kind of flip through it real quick here so I don't make this too, too long of a video. And um, I thought that was another picture. I saw a page of owls. Let me see if I can find it again. Here are some different wrens. I only know that because it says it. <laughs> I'm not like uh, any bird, you know, bird watcher or anything. So I don't like know it just out of... Um, Look at this page here. Isn't that beautiful? All these different owls. So I thought these would be great pages for different botanical, you know, nature, outdoor themed drunk journals or j different scrapbooks or whatever, whatever I could make. And um, yeah, so it would be kind of fun to use that in future projects. Um, I think this next thing is my daughter's actually. No, it isn't. I bought this too. I forgot. Let me show these to you. So this is from the um, one of the stores downtown that I really frequent quite often when I go in there because I just um, love what they have in there. Let me see. Is this from that one store? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, Abby. So this is a really pretty bracelet. It has little turtles on it. Um, I love turtles. I have quite a few different ones sitting on my laptop. I have some in the living room. This is just like a little, I got this one at Daytona Beach. Um... This one I got when we went to Cancun. No, that's not true. Yes, it is. I got that one in Cancun. And I got this one in Cancun, too, right before we left. Really, really pretty. So um, I got that bracelet because I like that. And I also like the fa fact that it's teal. Um, you know, because I teal is the color for trigeminal neuralgia awareness. And um, I have that. And so I just think it's really, really pretty. It's a beautiful bracelet anyway. Um, I would wear it. If it, even if that wasn't the color, I didn't like turtles or whatever. It's just really, really pretty. And I'll show you how that looks on my arm. I like it very much. So, got that for me to wear. Let me cut the tag off before I forget. And this Eco Soap that you're looking at right there, or excuse me, Eco Crayons, these are um, something I wanted to try in my crafting. They're Creative Play the Natural Way. So they're all natural items in here. Um, it's soy wax, beeswax, carnuba wax, I think, natural earth pigments. I'm going to hold it up so you can see that information there. So this is really, really, really cool. And the lady that at the shop said that a lot of people have been buying this, and they really love to use it and stuff like that. So I wanted to get this to try it on some different crafting project, projects. So you'll, you'll see this coming up hopefully pretty soon. And let's see. So this is my from my favorite shop in downtown Deland. It's called Pretty 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 Little Things of Deland. So, and I buy a lot of my antique pieces that I use for decorating my craft room. Um, my you know different doilies and different fabric, little bits, vintage fabrics and cards and all kinds of fun stuff that I get from her um, her shop. And she's always on on the lookout for things that, that I like, and she'll let me know they're in stock and I'll run down there and go get it. So I got two of these and the reason I got these two metal um, angel wings besides the fact that they're really super adorable is that there is a mural in downtown Deland and um, it's angel wings painted on this huge, um, like it's an alleyway in downtown, um, you know, historic the land. It was done by an um, an artist who lives here, and we t my daughter took took a picture. I did, and her friend Lydia did, and my husband did too. And I wanted to make a mixed media piece uh, um, of one for my daughter and one of me, and kind of put them together and display them. So I got those, or the, excuse me, these for that purpose. And I'll show you a picture of that too, either at the beginning or as I'm talking or the end. I never know 
what I want to do. So this is a large wooden spool, and she had a ton of these in her shop. I just grabbed the one. Thought this would be really fun to put some of my wider laces and trims on, like, um, not this piece perhaps, because this isn't like a very big piece, but just to kind of give you an idea of what I was thinking. Because this piece I'm actually using in a project that's on my table, so that's why I said that. It'd be really cute, you have it wrapped around like this, and you tuck it in with a really pretty push pin or vintage pin or something like that. I like to display stuff like, um, like um, items like this in my craft room on antique things. So there are those two things. Put the wings over here. And let's see. Did that one. Okay, let's do this one. This is from a shop um, called the Jammin' Shop. And that's their information here in case you live in the area. You want to go check it out. It's a really, really cool place. They make um, their own instruments there. They offer classes for like belly dancing and they do like mixed media stuff. Just really, really fun. Fun things. So um, we stopped in there to kind of, I've been in there before, but my husband had not. So we um, stopped in there too. And so this is one of the things, that I think this really kind of sums up the what this store is about. Um, they have a lot of things that are made in other countries and th things that were made from local people. So this one is an African uh, fairy story about a little girl named Happiness, and I'll read it to you real quick. Once upon a time, there was a little girl called Happiness who lived in Africa. One day, she went, excuse me, hair's in the way. One day, she was in her garden watering her thirsty corn cobs with tiny drops of water as it had not rained all month. There was a flash of lightning and a roll of thunder. A kind of magic giant, a kind magic giant appeared and said, Happiness, I am the giant, or yeah, I am the giant of thunder, and I will grant you a wish. Happiness closed her eyes tightly and wished for rain so that the beautiful flower, flowers and giraffes, elephants, hippos, and other living things would always have water when, when they were thirsty and fat corn and fat corn cobs to eat. The giant waved his magic wand and the rain came pouring down. Everything was watered and every day after that too and they all had lived happily ever after. So they had different um, angels with different... Or, different um, African fairy stories with the little girls with di different names had different stories but I thought this one was really cute and um, this is all handmade um, and so it says in the bottom here like I don't want to rip this off yet um, says collect all four, do all four dolls mothers earn money by making and selling the dolls so, so each doll purchased helps improve the lives of their children and it's got a really um, a really cool picture of these beautiful African children there. So I love purchasing things like this um, because I really feel like it's going to a good cause. You know, the money I spend on it, plus the fact that I get something really beautiful to have. And um, I'll hold this up here in case you want to pause this and write this information down, or you want to, um, you know, send them an email or anything like that. And this is the inside. And it has just some photos of some of the African women when they're making the dolls. I just, I love this. Just so cool. And then here, if you wanted to give this away as a gift, it already is on a card, and you can just fill it out for you like that, and it tells you, tells the receiver where this was made from. So I thought this was really, really cool. Plus the fact that she had purple on. <laughs> so I got that. And then this one is a crystal. Just a really pretty white crystal. It's like a healing crystal. And this is, um like amethyst something. I can't remember what the name was. It said amethyst and something else after and I forgot forgot. But I got it because I like how this feels when I hold it like this. Um, I am kind of a worry wart. I have a problem with you know picking at my fingers and just when, I have, um, when I'm nervous or whatever. And I, I like how this feels. So this is kind of my um, thing. It's like a, I'm treating this as a worry stone which I've ha had before. And I just like how it feels. And it's small enough I can put it in my pocket or my purse or whatever and I can bring it out and it's not like some big thing that everybody's looking at. You know so. Oop just a second my phone's ringing here. Sorry about that. Forgot to turn it down. So I got that. I thought it was really really beautiful. So that's going to go in my purse. And then, I think the last bag I have, this is from this really, really fun store. It's called the Pin Up Parlor Boutique at DeLand. And I will throw up some pictures as I'm talking, um, or at the end. I know I keep saying that, 
I'm hoping to remember myself, remind myself to do that. It was this is, this is probably one of the cutest stores I've ever seen decorated. It is just absolutely adorable in there. And for all of you pink lovers out there, you would just love her shop because there was so much pink in there. It had um, huge, beautiful mirrors. Um, it was just a really, really fun shop. Now my daughter got a shirt. And, they, and she sells like, you know, the vintage pinup stuff. It's like new, but looks like vintage. So she had like the really, really cool shirts for the guys to wear. So my husband bought a shirt. My daughter got a shirt. And I um, ended up getting some candles. So I'll show you this one here. I wish you could smell these. They just smell absolutely divine. Um, so this one is the da -da -da, warm sugar cookie. And it just smells divine. And that is the jar of the lid. Really, really cool. And then we got two of these. One we're already burning. And the smaller one, we wanted to try this one out too. It's the Limelight. This is her best seller. So the big one was already gone. So we just got two of the smaller ones. And these just smell delicious. And I thought it was just kind of fun. Um, all you know, the pink paper everywhere. And it was just a really cute shop. And here are the pens that you can have from her store. I asked if I could take two. And she said, of course. Um, so there it is. Just a really, really cute store. So I think that is everything from my downtown Deland haul. Um, just check and just re haul real quick. That is it. So um, thank you all for watching and for um, putting up with my little bit of stutteriness today. Facial pain is not happy with me today. And um, I'm really looking forward to, you know, incorporating these different items that I purchased for my craft room and for actual crafting projects so I can share them all with you here on my YouTube channel. So thanks so much for watching everybody. Happy scrapping, happy planning, and happy crafting and I'll see you next time. Bye!